Hi everyone, it's Maggie, and I'm here with a project share. This is my first um, project f as a guest design team member for Fernley Designs, and I will put a link to the shop uh, in the description box. And Lou has some amazing um, pieces, and she's getting new things all the time and for my first project I decided to do the um, paintbrush I wanted to alter this paintbrush and this is how it came out and I love it I think it came out really sweet the first thing that I did was I just sewed it and then I covered it in um, paper on both sides. And this is the Graphic 45 Songbird, or Bird Song? Bird Song, sorry. The Bird Song uh, paper collection. And I know you can't see a lot of it. Maybe if I bring it a little closer, uh, you can see it in there. And it's really a beautiful flowery um, paper. And I took some gesso and water and then I just pounced it all around the edges on both sides also. And since the back is so much simpler, um, I used this white fringe. I put it on the back so that it would it would hang correctly when um, when it's hung up. And I wanted it to mimic you know, the bristles of a paintbrush. So that's why I did that. And then up on the top, after I put this little rhinestone um, chain, in order to hang it up, I um, covered it one of with one of the Wild Orchid Craft uh, lilies, and this is their pale pink lily. And I love it. It's one of my favorite flowers from them and I put it on the top here also. And then I took one of Fernley's um, bird cages and I gessoed that. And underneath I added, um, on each corner, I added um, a flower applique and by putting it underneath, when I uh, glued it onto the um, paintbrush, it gave it a little dimension so I think and I think that makes a difference when you're um, looking at it so the next thing I did was I added this beautiful little um, bling piece from um, my stash and I put that on top and then I just um, embellished the outside I added this beautiful um, pearl and rhinestone piece in the corner. I added some more wild orchid craft lilies and some tiny little rosebuds. Uh, I or, I put a couple of um, pale pink flat back pearls. I did fussy cut one piece that I had left over from this uh, piece here and I fussy cut the flower and put that underneath to make it kind of look like the bird was um, on top of the flowers. And then in this corner I added another um, lily and then I added two of their little um, sweetheart blossoms in the pink and then more pink rosebuds there. And the birds are from Prima and this one, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but his claws are out like he's in flight and holding on to his prey. But I wanted it to look like he was holding on to the birdcage. So I put him right there. And that's about it. That's what I did. And as I said, I really like how it came out. I think it came out really cute, and um, I can't wait to show you my next project. I'm in the middle of it, but it, so it will take a little bit of time, but um, I'm having a lot of fun 
Um, friendly designs are just beautiful and um, they're so affordable. I couldn't believe the prices when I, the first time I made a purchase, which was probably, could have been last year sometime actually, um, I couldn't believe the prices and I also couldn't believe um, how inexpensive it was to mail it to me from uh, the UK. That's where they're based in. So um, if you're here in the States like I am, please go check them out because the um, the shipping is affordable and it's worth it because of how low their prices are for the actual um, wood pieces themselves. And I think they're also getting into laser cut now. So, I mean, that will be even um, much less, um, you know, weight. That's what I was trying to think of. So, okay, well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching. Please go check them out. Uh, as I said, I'll put the link in the description box. And I will see you again soon with another project for them. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye for now.